hi everybody welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to show um an update on the diy projects that i've done around my house um mainly the ones that i get questions about as far as house holding up and um things like that so let's just jump right in this is the main one here that i get questions about excuse this my husband's video game mess so this is an ottoman that i did cover i will link the video um so you can go and take a look at it but this is it right here this fabric is actually what do they call it a wall tapestry um it's a piece a, a big piece of um yeah just a big piece of fabric that's what it was called i got off amazon i believe it was 15 dollars, and um yeah i like the print so i got it originally i was trying to get fabric from like joann's and i think i checked walmart also however the price for the big piece that i needed would have been way too much um so because this is a large ottoman so i did decide well let me look for i was actually looking for maybe like a flat sheet or a not a flat sheet a shower curtain is what i was looking for because in my old apartment i had some chairs that i did end up recovering and i used a shower curtain a fabric shower curtain and it was really nice so that's what i was looking for and i came across this okay so i've had this for at least it has to have been at least a year um i'll look at the date of the old video but i took the old cover off of the ottoman and then i used the fabric um, I trimmed it. I made sure I centered it and all of that. If you want specifics, again, you can check that video. Those are my kids in the background. Um, so don't worry about that. But yeah, if you want specifics, I'll post that video. But um, I just made sure it was positioned how I wanted it and I stapled it in place. So how it's holding up? I think it's holding up very well. As you can see, I think it looks really good. Um, I have cleaned this with my with the tool from my um what do you call it shampoo so i have cleaned it off because the kids they lay on here they sit on here uh, they eat up here so it gets a lot of use and so i just use my upholstery cleaner attachment and clean it so and it's done fine i'll get closer so you can see it's almost time it looks like for me to clean it again but just to show it's not like peeling on the fabric or not peeling you know when you get like those little pills on fabric it's not doing that at all so i would say this hold up has held up very well and i still like it the only thing it does let me show you is if you can see the what do you call it this is the um like the pillow foam material and when i took it apart i did not get the adhesive spray to spray the hot because i reinforced it with wood i didn't get the adhesive spray to spray before i put this back down so like when somebody has their feet up here for like example my husband likes to put his feet up here this will shift and then i have to like adjust it back so it's straight but that has nothing to do with the di the project itself that was me basically skipping a step so that would be the only kind of negative i guess you would call it that i would say about this um but overall I think it's definitely held up really well and I still like it. Okay, let's see. What are the other? Um, I'm trying to see where they are. Okay, let's come over here. So the other uh project that I get asked out about a lot are these planters that I did. This was just a regular plastic planter that the plant came in from the store. I took that in a hot glue gun and I individually glued on each one of these. <laughs> so yes, it did take a very long time. Um, but I like the, the, the result. So, uh Oh, I'm getting my plant tangled up. I like the result and I just knocked one off. I like the result. I'm definitely happy with it. Um, so it's good that you can see that one fell off. Some of them have came come off but mostly near the bottom because i didn't exactly pay attention to make sure that it would sit flat and then right here where that one came off is um near the top edge part i don't think that's bad in terms of like all of them haven't fallen off like i would say maybe like 
five most have come off at certain points. I've had this over a year also. Where I think I should have switched with this is I used a hot glue gun. Um, I would say to use the, what is it called, the E6000. So if you decide to do this, I'll link this as well. Um, I would say use the E6000, but I water this plant, um, you know, so it does get wet, it drains out the bottom. I've had a couple different plants in here. This one takes less water, so it's not getting as wet now. But when I had the other plant in there that took more, uh, required more water, it was still fine. So yeah, this is, um, this is this one. And where is it? There's one more that I did. All right. So this is the other DIY planter that I did. And as you can see, um, I did use, what do you call that? Uh, not twine. What the heck is it called? It was the jute twine. I did use that and I wrapped it around. This was again, another plastic nursery pot that was pretty ugly. Um, so I decided to do something with that. I'll link this video as well. I just used a uh, glue gun for that and wrapped it. And then I glued down these crowley shells and that bead. Um, so None of the Crowley shells have come off. I used the hot glue gun on that as well. This does get wet. So you can see right here, you can see little signs of moisture um, from it being watered, but nothing has come off. It still holds up very well, and I still like it. So this one, I would say was a success. And then this is, I was trying to, to make a hanger, hanging thing with the rest of the jute. Eh, I need to practice knots, but for the planter, I think it still looks really good and it turned out really well. And this one again has been over a year that I've had that also. I water right directly into it, don't do anything special to it and it has lasted very well. All right, so those are the three main DIY projects that I have posted on my channel um, that I get asked about in terms of how they're holding up and everything. So I wanted to come on here and just do a quick update, you know, so you can see for yourself how everything is holding up um when it comes to diy stuff i say just try it uh you know as long as you're not because it can get expensive depending on what you buy so i would say watch the materials that you're buying and start off small um but just give it a try you know at the very least the only thing you would really be out of is your time and you'll have you know a learning experience basically for what you can do differently next time so that's pretty much it so Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.